Greetings. Today I want to speak to you concerning the art of money getting. Do you know attracting money, prosperity, and good health, and all the other things of life? It takes a science. It takes an art. Have you ever heard about the science of mind? You see, many people do not understand the power of their mind. They know how to work with the science of their mind. Well, the good news is that I have my own philosophy and that philosophy wasn't borrowed from anyone. It came originally from me because of my awakening experience and that philosophy is the philosophy of the S-U-N. It's where I'm teaching you that the sun as in the S-U-N it parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun and I'm teaching you that without the sun, there's no life. <laughs> and there's no light. And without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. And people who are raised to have a religious and superstitious mentality, who grew up in the Caribbean just like me, and many other parts of the world, they do not understand the art of money getting because they've been given a book to shape their life. And from very small, when you go to school, they make sure they indoctrinate you about this book. And this book is pointing you to look outside of yourself for a Lord, a God, a Savior, and a Master. And so those people, most of the time, they make money their master instead of being the master of money. Because they lack the understanding that money is energy. And that also they are energy and that their true identity is their divinity. You see, people who have that understanding will never look on the outside to find an enemy. Neither would they look on the outside to find a friend and savior. They would realize that everything is within their consciousness. Everything lies within their awareness. Therefore, the art of money getting is you understanding the law of sowing and reaping. You see, your mind is a garden. Many people believe that there was a garden thousands of years ago <laughs> with just a man and a woman living in that garden. And they fail to realize the laws that governs all of humanity and the laws that governs the universe. And so they, list, they miss the law of gender. That everything has its masculine and its feminine. And so they read the story of a man and a woman in a garden and fail to realize that they are reading about the masculine and feminine principle within themselves, within the mind. And how everything is based on sowing and reaping. Like for example, we were expressed here through the act of sex, right? But remember, before your mother and your father could come together, it was for us a thought, it was for us an idea in their mind. So, an idea it comes forth in the mind and it's been expressed out in action or in words. And so, if you really understand how you come to have this human experience, you will understand how you can attract money in your life. You'll understand the art of money getting because you will know that your father saw a seed in your mother. And then, when you know your mind is a garden, you have to sow a seed in your garden. Which means, your seed are your thought forms. So what desire you have, and you're willing to plant that seed, you have to believe the fact that you're going to become psychologically pregnant with that idea. And that as long as you remain faithful to it, and you walk around with that pregnancy that you will give birth, and that birth that you give, you call it your brain child. Okay. But the reason why most people do not understand this principle is because they were taught to live on one level, which is the physical level only. That's why most people are religious and superstitious. Right? They've been taught to look at the scriptures only from a, a physical level. So they think the Jesus and Mary story is literal and secular history because they are one-track-minded. And they do not know that they are physical 
they are psychological and they are spiritual. So when you realize that you can give, give birth psychologically and you can give birth spiritually, then you will understand science and technology and how all the great inventors knew this principle that I'm speaking about and they give birth to their brainchild that becomes a benefit to the rest of humanity. So my brother, my sisters, all you have to do is change your mentality to attract money. So the art of money getting lies within your psyche. So if you have a mindset of lack, scarcity, mediocrity, and a mindset of being religious and superstitious and been focusing your energy outwardly, all you have to do is reverse that and look inwardly. Then you will discover that the kingdom of God is within you, which is the kingdom of your higher self, which is the kingdom of your creative and innovative self, your imaginative self, the self of you that can form and shape and mold, the self of you that can heal, the, 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 the self of you where all things are possible. Okay, so when you find that kingdom, you realize that you're a king. Then you will live like a king. And you act like a king. And you behave like a king. Okay? So my brother, my sister, I can go on and on and on and on, on with, with you. But if you will only take these simple gems that I've just dropped right there. And walk on them by becoming more of a doer than a hearer. And learn to go within yourself and come in with your own heart upon your bed. And go into that place of silence, that place of meditation where you calm your mind down and go into that place of visualization where you can visualize your life and accord your life whichever way you want it to be then you prove for yourself that the ability to attract money or the art of money getting lies within you it's all have to do with your psyche as a matter of fact as a man think it in his heart in his subconscious mind so is he learn the power of your subconscious mind and use the knowledge to attract money in your life so getting money is an art and it starts with self self-knowledge is power educate yourself about yourself so with that being said my brother my sister i can't go on and on and on but i'm gonna come to a close i want to thank you very much for listening to me i want to say to you if you listen to me and what I'm saying, if it really makes sense to you, if it really resonates with you and you haven't subscribed already, I definitely want to encourage you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, I like to follow me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me at Black Mad Guru. And I will also encourage you to get my latest book, which is called The Secret Vagina, Mystery of the Virgin Birth. It's where I'm teaching you the secret of the Immaculate Conception and show you how you can bring forth your brain child and you can have whatever you desire in this world. That's why you need to learn the art of money getting understand the science of the sun okay that's why i give you a course that is called the inner sun science and technology to create your reality consciously and along with that a bonus course and self-concept and that is for people who are donating 20 or more dollars so make sure you get that also as i mentioned before my book the secret vagina along with that is spiritual recipe for better living your mood is your fortune meditate to eradicate poverty it's 66 books of magic and much more so you, you can get you can get uh, all of my books they're all available to you along with my journals that you can use and journal your life too okay so you can either become a part of my patreon community where you have access to the inner sun science and technology course and that's what people are donating 20 or more dollars but if you want to donate five dollars you want to donate 10 or 15 dollars you still have access to a lot of videos that i have there that is available to you also but for those who are donating 20 or more you have access to the inner sun science and technology course and a course on self-concept that's a bonus course okay so all the choice belongs to you so my last encouragement to you is to just make sure that you check out all of the links that are down below and let your intuition lead you and guide you into what to do because at the end of the day the choice that you make is what's going to determine the life that you live. So with that being said, I just want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.